Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Aquila. Today we are going to be making another drink recipe from the Galaxy's Edge cookbook. So pretty exciting. Before we go ahead and get started, if you would remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll post that somewhere around here, that Instagram username. So yeah, so I've made two, uh, two drinks so far, the Rodian Splice, which was the shooter or shot, uh, and also um, the Cliff Dweller, which was that pink uh, Pepto-Bismol looking drink that I made. And today, something a little bit different, it's definitely also an adult beverage, is the Lothal Spice Brew. So that. Also, always gotta have my Kermit bookmark. Get that going there, so you can see that. <clears throat> Lothal Spice, Spice Brew, excuse me. I'll go ahead and read the description. On my last visit to Lothal, I docked at a tiny old outpost a few hours from capital city known to the locals as Jothal. The place had seen better days, but it was clear that it had plenty of history. And in my world, history and flavor tend to go hand in hand. After a bit of digging and a couple pieces of Lothrat pie, I learned that this pit stop used to be run by an Ithorian named Old Joe. That is, until the Empire decided to execute him for helping out some local rebels. Joe was remembered for having a sympathetic ear and a helping hand, but it was his signature spice brew that really elevated him to a legendary status. He might not have survived the Empire's occupation, but the recipe for his potent spiced beverage did. So now you can raise a tall mug of it in Old Joe's honor. And we plan to do that today. Like I said, this one's very easy. Prep time, five minutes, one serving, difficulty easy. Certainly still shooting for all those easy recipes as I go make my way through this. Our ingredients today, 12 ounces of creamy stout beer. Uh, in creamy stout beer, you can either use um, really whatever you want, but uh, when they say creamy, I, I tend to believe that means either a cream stout or a milk stout. I went with a milk stout We'll talk a little bit about that. Half a cup of condensed milk, which I have in a mason jar here. Uh, as I learned from the Cliff Dweller video, uh, when I used that coconut cream, I was actually supposed to mix it first. I've never used condensed milk, so I wanted to see if that needed to be mixed as well. So I poured it from the can into a mason jar. We're also gonna use cinnamon and nutmeg. There is an optional ingredient as well. It's one ounce of brandy I am not going to use, primarily because I don't have brandy. Secondly, because I don't like brandy. Not a, not a drink that I enjoy. So I'm gonna go without the brandy in mine, but obviously feel free to use it in yours. Very, very, very simple two-step recipe. Combine all ingredients in a blender and blend together until pale and smooth. Pour into a tall glass filled with ice and add a pinch of nutmeg to the top to serve. So that's what we'll do. And I'm going to again use a mason jar to pour mine into, and that's okay. Now I'll just get some ice for it. As I mentioned in both my previous videos, make sure you wash your hands before you handle anything food related, which I have already done, but clean hands, very good. Always, no matter what, not just in this climate. So, uh, before I pour everything in the blender, just a little shout out to Left Handed Brewing Company. Uh, I am a beer person. I love to travel and visit breweries, and uh, Left Handed Brewing for me is kind of cool because I'm a lefty. A little bit about me there. So I am a lefty, and this is actually the Left Hand Brewing Company Milk Stout Nitro, America's Stout. So, yeah, very, very, very cool. Uh, and that's what I'll use. So I'm going to now attempt to pour all my ingredients into the blender. So we're gonna start with 12 ounces of creamy stout beer. A bottle is 12 ounces of beer, at least typically. I'm not sure there's any that aren't. Always check with your cans though. They're not, they can be 16 ounces among other things. So I've got my 12 ounces of beer that I will now pour into the blender. Check. 
mix up half a cup of condensed milk. So here's my half cup. Grab my condensed milk. I've never used this before, but it looks quite disgusting. A little bit like pudding from a consistency standpoint. There we go. Half a cup worth. Otherwise known as four ounces. pleasant consistency there. All right, next up we have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Have my quarter teaspoon here. Lastly, for me, quarter teaspoon of the ground nutmeg. Fantastic. Okay. And again, not using the brandy in mine. Feel free to do it in yours. I'm just not a fan. And physically don't have it. So now we're going to go ahead and blend these ingredients together as called for in these, the recipe here for the Lothal Spice Brew. Here we have it, one serving of low file spice brew. I'm just gonna pour that into our mason jar. It smells like cinnamon and beer. Okay. Fun fact, one serving is more than fits in a mason jar. That's okay. And it lastly says, to add a pinch of nutmeg to the top to serve. So we'll do that. Do my pinch of nutmeg there. <clears throat> Bottoms up. That is very good. I am shocked. I was a little worried that I wouldn't like it, even though I like all the ingredients since one that is pretty darn good it doesn't have the kick of stout really you know even though it's in there um yeah i do happen to like stouts so that might help but they, you know they can be a little heavy and certainly much better when very very cold uh, but this drink is quite tasty i highly recommend so there it is we made it again. That's three. We, we made it through this very, very difficult recipe together. And here we have it, the Lothal Spice Bro. So, Old Joe, this one's for you. All right, I, very, I appreciate it very much, uh, everybody stopping by and checking out my video. Again, if you would like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, I'd be a very happy human. I'll post that yet again around. And I look forward to next time. All righty. Thanks.